first female contender up on Hang Tough from Australia is Lorene. But trying to stop her from getting to the other side is Jet. Yes, the crowd clamour for the glamour. Gorgeous Jet from the UK, a Hang Tough specialist, four inches shorter than Lorene and more than a stone lighter. Thompson. Australia, ready! Gladiator, yeah. ready! Free. Jet knows that the Australian contender Lorene is untested on the rings in international competition. And Lorene told me that her strongest points are motivation and a determination to succeed. But in this event, success comes from a determination to reach Jet's platform. And Jet traversing nicely. Marine in the scoring zone. Jet trying to anticipate her every move. Marine swings by, and Jet homes in, yes. Locks in the scissors, twists around. And it's very few contenders will come out of this situation with their points intact. And Jet now working on the hands. Marine with incredible strength. And Jet knows a trick or two up there, untwisting. Marine fighting to get free. Oh! Jet wrenches her off the rings for a superb mat finish. Noreen can't believe she's back down under. Jet tied her up. Noreen was one ringed, and the Brit finished the Aussie with a yank. Next up on Hang Tough from Russia is Luda. And trying to stop her from getting to the other side from the USA, Ice. Ice Baby, my favourite gladiator. The crowd give her a warm reception, but she's still frosty after being frozen out on that pyramid pile-up earlier. The American gladiator an inch shorter than her opponent and just over a stone lighter. Now it's over to our international referee, Larry Thompson. Russia, ready! Ready, ready! Three, two, one! Well, this is also Luna's first chance to swing on the rings in competition, but you get the feeling against ice, it'll be more a baptism of fire. Luda is from the city of Voronezh, 500 kilometers south of Moscow. And I can tell you, ice brings not so much an ill wind as a chill wind. Ice very skilled on the rings, but Luda is in the scoring zone. Oh, straight into ice. And hasn't she got cold hands? Luda will do well. Oh, no. It's all over. She bails out to save her strength, and who can blame her? Ice happy to prove herself that time. And the Russians making no attempt to disguise their disappointment. Just one look at this driven gladiator in full swing makes your blood run cold. The Ice Maiden blows in from the north, freezes your bones to the marrow, and the only place to head for is south. <laughs> After four events, the girls' scores remain the same. Australia 21, Russia nil. First up on Hang Tough from the USA, Pat. And he'll be up against the gladiator, Giant. The German Giants, the Teutonic tall person, the Berlin big boy. Call him what you will, he's an impressive international gladiator. Five inches taller than his opponent and almost two and a half stone heavier. And to start the game, our international referee, John Forsyth. USA, ready! Gladiator, ready! Three, two, one! Giants, with a 100% takedown record on the rings. Against Pat Chismazia, a snowboard instructor and 1995 Survival of the Fittest American Champion. Survival of the Fittest is a mere eight-day, seven-event competition. But on Gladiators, it's six events in a single day. Well, Pat's in the scoring zone. And Giant, one ring, but biding his time. Pat swings away. Giant marking him. Pat's still in the scoring zone. Oh, straight into trouble. Giant's got him. The only way out is down. Pat, splat, on the mat and out of the points. Giant gets Pat high on the swing, uses Pat's body like a beanstalk to slither down and then drags the beanstalk with him. Next up on Hang Tough from South Africa is Peter. 
and he'll be up against the Lord of the Rings himself, Wolf. Born to be wild, the hound from hell, hungry to exact revenge for his pyramid humiliation. The wolf is an inch shorter than Peter, but three stones heavier and uglier. And to start hang tough, here's our international referee, John Forsyth. South Africa, ready! Kimbo described him as the Lord of the Rings, but he has been found wanting on occasions. Peter's already had a taste of the Wolf's tactics, so he'll be wiser and all the more wary. The wolf does look as if he's not come to mess about. Peter retreating, and the Wolf in a holding pattern at the moment, guarding that scoring zone. And Peter nowhere near it. Wolf struggling to get a grip. But we're used to that. Peter advancing again, Wolf's legs up. This has all the makings of an aerial chess match. Wolf snaps with his heels. And Peter gives the Wolf a gymnastic lesson. Superb skills from Peter. And the Wolf just marking that scoring zone. Peter needs to get in there if this energy expenditure is all going to prove worthwhile. Wolf just biding his time, setting the trap. In he goes. Oh, and Peter escapes again. Wolf tries again. Still can't get a handle on the South African. Time up. Peter with a handsome display of skill on the rings, but wasn't hanging tough in the scoring zone. His fans applaud the effort, though. Peter, you did very well to stay away from him, but you didn't make it to the Red Rings, which is the object of the game. That's all I know, but I mean, but I went anyway. Wolf was there. I so you just wanted to avoid him at all costs. Oh, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Wolf, you're supposed to be the Lord of the Rings. Where were you? Hey, man, did you see what he did? Lifted his legs up above his head. Yeah, a few acrobatic moves there. Hey, did he score any points? I don't think so. No points! <laughs> well, no points for Peter. But please thank Wolf and Peter from South Africa. Well, well Wolf shakes him by the hand and not by the throat. Amazing. After four events, the guys' scores remain the same. USA 19, South Africa 8. Next event.